This game that I recreated looks almost the same as the original, but I will be still adding features to it like upgrades, bullet penetration, effects and much more, so stay tuned for that. First thing that is obviously missing is health of the player, so I will quickly add just some basic slider. In the player script I will add using Unity Engine that UI, obviously because we will be adding the UI elements. I will add public float for the health and also public float for the max health. And a reference for the slider. So in the update we can just set volume of the slider to the health. And when the player collides with some bullet, we will obviously subtract the health. So I will create new void, which will be the on trigger enter. For that I will also create new tag on the enemy bullet, which will be just for the enemy bullet. And now when we collide with some object, we can just check if the tag is the enemy bullet. So collision dot game object dot compare tag and then the tag. And because we need to know by how much the health should decrease, I will also add script to the bullet that will just hold a variable with the damage. So just add the script to the bullet and now we will go back to the enemy AI script where we will just define damage of the bullet. So here where we are instantiating the bullet, we already have a variable for it, so I can just say bullet that get component this will be the enemy bullet and we can just set the damage to the damage of the enemy which should be stored in the enemy scriptable object okay so now that the bullet is holding the damage we can go back to the player and here just subtract the damage so we have the collision from this we can get the object and we can get component which is the enemy bullet and then from this we can get the damage. Yeah, so now we can see that when the bullet from the enemy hits the player, the health decreases. Also, what you might notice is that when I change size of the window, the slider is on a different place. So you can quickly fix that by going to the canvas and then changing the UI scale mode to the scale with screen size and just set the resolution like that. Okay, so now that the player has some health, I will do a similar thing to the bullets, because the bullets should have some penetration. So I will create new script, which will be for the player bullets. And on the bullet I will define health of the bullet. And here it is the same. When we collide with some object and it has the tag enemy bullet, we just subtract the health of the bullet and if the health is less or equal than zero then we can just destroy it. And we will do the same thing for the enemy bullet, but instead of the tag enemy bullet, I will just have bullet here. And here I think that we can set it to be constant, let's say 10. And on the player bullet, I will actually need to set it in the player script to the penetration, which will be one of the upgrades that the player has. So here when we are instantiating the bullet, I will just get the component. So bullet dot get component. This is the player bullet and just set the health. This will be equal to the penetration variable, which I have just created. Right now I have the penetration on one. So when my bullet hits the enemy bullet, it should get destroyed. Yeah, you can see that it works. And now we will get to the more interesting stuff, which will be the upgrades. So I will just create script, which will be the upgrade manager. And I will also create some basic UI, where we will later add the graphics from the game. So I have just added a panel and one of the upgrades, but because there might be 4 upgrades or more, depending if we collect the upgrades that allow us to gather more of them, um, I will use the horizontal layout. This component I will add it to the parent of all of the upgrades. And what this allows you is that you can just copy 
the upgrade like this and you can see that it is in line with all of the other upgrades and you can also set the spacing between them which is nice so like that it will be no problem even if we have multiple upgrades from the upgrade i will create just a prefab because later we will be instantiating it in the upgrade manager i will first define a class which will be holding data of the upgrade so public class upgrade and it is going to be holding public string which will be the name then public string which will be for the description and we want to be able to get and also set all of these properties we will add another string which will be for the rarity of the card and public float which will be for the number by which we want to increase the volume of the upgrade and now we can just create array of those upgrades where we will define all of the upgrades and into the array you can add as many upgrades as you want you can see that i am able to easily define the name description rarity and the increase which are the properties that i have in the class and also in the description when I'm saying that it increases something I have by underscore percent because later I will be able to put the increase number instead of the underscore that you can see here. Next I will just define integer which will be holding the count of the upgrades that I currently can get. So int upgrade count. I will add game object variable for the upgrade prefab and another one for the upgrade horizontal layout which will be just holding all of the upgrades under it. I will create new private void, which I will call button set, in which I will just set all of the upgrade buttons. I will set the values of them. Here I will create list, which will be containing indexes of all of the upgrades that we can have. And then I will make custom function, which will just shuffle the list. That way we are not getting the same upgrades over and over again. So I can call the shuffle list function and import in the available upgrades list. And here we are just going through all of the items in the list and we are creating random index. Then we are storing the current value in the int temporary and then we just shuffle the list. That way we have random values each time. So now we have indexes of the upgrades that will appear, but we still have no buttons in the game. So while the child count of the upgrade horizontal layout which is holding all of the upgrades is less than the upgrade count then we will spawn in the buttons so we will just instantiate prefab of the upgrade and the parent will be the horizontal layout yeah now you can see that when i set the upgrade count to four four upgrades appeared here next thing will obviously need to be setting texts and colors so first i will create dictionary for the colors and the rarities and why I am doing this it is better to have it all in the dictionary than just be comparing it with if so you can see that here I have created dictionary which input is type of string and output is the color I have named it rarity colors and then we just add the keys into it so the first one is the common then I have the color then I have the rare epic and so on Next I will create a for loop in which we will go through all of the upgrades objects that we have created and we will set the texts, colors and so on. So first we need to know which upgrade is on the first index. So we will get this from the upgrades array which is containing all of the upgrades and then the index we will get it from the available upgrades on the index of i which is either 0, 1, 2 and so on. Now I can get the upgrade object which will be one of those buttons depending on the index here and we just take it from the upgrade horizontal layout on the index of i and as i have the upgrade object i can easily get the button because the button is right on the upgrade object so i'm just getting the component of button and then on the button i will add listener because i will need to call another void which will happen when we choose the upgrade as you can see which I have already created here so when we choose an upgrade we want to call this void 
So for this I have added a listener and using the lambda operator I'm just calling the void upgrade chosen and into it I just want to import name of the upgrade that we have selected. So we can just get the upgrade and access the name of it which we have defined here. Now we can get the upgrade text name which is this text holding the name of the upgrade and we can just get it from the upgrade object which we have defined here and get the child from it which you can see is on the index 0 which is the first one and then we just get the component text and we can set text of the text to the name of the upgrade and we will do the same thing with the description. So now we have set both of those texts and the last thing is just set color of the button. So we need to get the image component from the upgrade button, then set the color of it to the color from the dictionary which we have created here and we need to import the rarity of the upgrade into the dictionary which is either the common, rare or epic and it should give us the color value. And because I'm using the Text Mesh Pro, I need to have the Text Mesh Pro UGY here. Yeah, so now we can see that we have the projectile damage and the attack speed upgrades. We don't have those two ones because I have defined only two upgrades and each upgrade can be here only once. But you can see that the color is right, then the name is also right and the description too. And the last thing that is missing for us is do something with the upgrades. So when we call the void upgrade chosen, I will create new switch into which I will input the upgrade chosen, which is just name of the upgrade that we have chosen. And then I will create case, which will be with name of the upgrade. And after we select it, we can, for example, just debug lock it into the console and then we can break. So now we can see that when I select the attack speed, it says attack speed in console and the projectile damage works the same. So now when you want to add some functionality to the upgrades, all you need to do is write the code here. So when I want to increase the attack speed, I could have a variable on the player that would be called attack speed and just increase it here. I have added some of the upgrades to the script here as you can see and I also have them in the player upgrades as you can see here. So when I select for example the catalysts which increases the projectile damage which you can see here. So right now it is 25 and when I select it you can see that it is on 27 so it all works correctly. I have also added some basic effects to the bullets, nothing too complicated. And in next videos we will definitely add a lot more functionality for the upgrades. And we will add some sounds, more graphics, enemies and so on. So I hope that you like this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in the next videos. Bye!